In this video, I will show you how to install a VST plugin that doesn't have an installation file or a setup execution file using this plugin right in front of me, which is a free plugin. This is called Tape Cassette. I will have a link in the description box so you can go ahead and follow and get this because it's pretty cool. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and go to my desktop because I've already downloaded that file. So what you have here is called a zip file. And the zip file has the files inside of it. So what you're gonna do is right click on that file and it will give you the option to extract here. So I'm gonna go ahead and extract to my desktop. It says extract here. Now I'm gonna click in this folder. Now I'm on Windows, so I will use the Windows files here. So it does have the installation instructions, but let's go ahead and do this. So what I'm gonna tell you to do is highlight these two files and then right click and select copy or press control C or command C. So once you do that, now we're gonna navigate to our VST folder. So our VST folder will be in here. We're gonna go into C and program files. It'll be different for whoever because you might have it in a different folder, but for me it's in my program files. And now I'm gonna to navigate to my VST plugin folder. From here, I'm gonna double click on the plugins folder, VST plugin folder, and I'm going to paste it inside of here. So make sure that you paste it inside of that folder. And now you can close that folder. Now the next thing you're gonna do is open up your DAW. Now that your DAW is open, you're gonna to go to your options, preferences, and then you're gonna hit rescan plugins. If you're an Ableton Live user that doesn't use scripts, it will load up the new plugin automatically every time, but I'm not. So just hit this right here, which is rescan plugins, and it'll rescan it. Now that we're done with that process, we're gonna go over here and type in tape. And now I can go and select it right here. And here it is, tape cassette. FL Studio users, y'all are a special bunch because you will have to do this. Uh, it does not automatically load your plugins up no matter what your script is. But what you'll do is go into your options, you'll go into manage plugins, and this is in FL Studio 12.3 or higher. After selecting manage plugins, you will just go right over here to find plugins. Uh, make sure that you hit this find plugin button and then the magic will start to happen. So after it's finished, you just look for the plugin and then start. It should be in orange. Go and uh, do that for all my plugins right now. So that's basically about it. That's all you have to do to install a plugin.